480 <laughs> on my tandems.
say pretty good, but it could have been a whole lot worse, but it could have been a little bit better. But hey, we made it home. I mean, we're about, about 100 miles from the house, so it ain't too bad. Depending on what happens here, if we get unloaded in a timely manner, then we can make it home. But uh, yeah, this week we started out in uh, Jersey, Elizabeth. Is it Elizabeth Town or is it Elizabeth? I just, man, I can't remember. I'm just looking, looking back a little bit here, adding up my miles and revenue for the week. Elizabeth, New Jersey. Yeah, so we went from Elizabeth, New Jersey to Lockbourne, Ohio. And we did like a couple little short runs in Ohio, you know. And that's man. You ever get like the short runs and they pay okay? And I mean, there's always going to be something, you know. And it, you know, both of them. Like the first load, you know, it was like I got stuck there at the shipper forever to, you know, to get load. Then I, I got that one unloaded. Then I had another one like four miles down the street and, you know, it took them like seven hours to get me loaded. And we got this one here in Erie. It's picked up in Erie and all the way down here to Alachua, Alachua, Florida. And, uh, yeah, they said we had a 10 a.m. appointment. And I, I don't want to say I rushed, but it was kind of a couple times where you had to hammer it, hammer down a little bit, try to make up a little bit of time. And we did, we did good. We pulled in here and we got here at, uh, we got here at 9:30. Then I go to check in and they tell me my appointment was at nine o'clock. <laughs> oh man, I was like, I didn't even say anything. I was like, you know, even though the Raycon said 10, and there was, they got two like holding areas. <laughs> and there was nobody usually you come here and the holding areas are like filled you know oh we don't have a dock go to the holding area and they told me like go on over and hang out in the holding area and we'll let you know when you got a door i'm like oh man it's like for real i was like you're gonna throw me over there and he's like well we don't have a door for you you know because you're you're late and i'm like i didn't even say anything i was like all right whatever you know and i got there and sat there for about five minutes and they, and they got me a number got me in the door number 77 so you know now I'm just waiting for them to get unloaded and see if I got a lumper or not if we got a lumper call the broker pay up so yeah I think we end up for the week we'll be due so we end up averaging a dollar 97 per mile so eh, ain't too bad not too bad could have been, I thought I was hoping to be a little bit better because if it wasn't for those two loads that you know you know waiting around the dock and hopefully those brokers will pay us some detention you never know how that goes and, uh, maybe we'll get a couple more bucks out of them you never know that'll work but, uh, yeah that's all we really got going on here so our short <sighs> Hopefully this won't take long. I, I, we're ready to go home. So, yeah. So that's what's been going on with us. So, hopefully we'll be home here shortly. You can see we're about two hours from home. Let's get on out of here. Get me unloaded so we can go home. So, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.